Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I will be finally covering the best guns you can currently use in Battlefield 2042. But I also have to say, since there weren't a lot of crazy damage or number changes for the guns, mainly we only had like the headshot multiplier getting reduced for ARs and LMGs and a bit increased for SMGs and some minor damage tweaks on a few of the guns. The meta really hasn't changed that much. So I will just go over every category and tell you what are the best guns of this category. And of course, if you're only interested in assault rifle, it's for example i will timestamp every class below so you can just skip ahead if you are only interested in one specific gun category but yeah with this out of the way let's start with the secondaries and here nothing really changes for like 95 percent of the player base the g57 will still be the best pistol overall to use with here the attachments are pretty simple close combat drum laser sight for the hip fire and the arcom tactical muzzle for less horizontal recoil and then you're good to go and the second best pistol is still the desert eagle or rather it's the best pistol if you can aim a lot the current problem with the deagle is just that the visual recall is so crazy on this gun if you don't have a monitor crosshair you will probably struggle quite a lot with this gun but also here the attachments are pretty much the same we use the fusion holo as our sight we use close combat ammo since we can trigger the gun a bit faster and it has less recoil it says we have less effective range but that doesn't really matter because with the close combat and with the high power our one shot headshot range is still 20 meters and since that that's what we will usually go for doesn't matter what ammo type you choose but since we get less recoil and the higher fire rate and one more bullet the close combat that's why we will use it and then obviously a laser sight for fire and muzzle we can't equip anything now as for smgs even though a lot of the smgs got a movement speed buff while adsing and we also got the new smg the two best smgs are still for one the pbx this is a gun that i would recommend to you if you are really good when it comes to like positioning and ammo management since we only get 36 round in a mega Magazine. you can't really run around the corner and just kill six enemies in a row with the magazine you need to have very good aim and positioning to make this gun work but if you're confident and a better player this gun is insanely strong you win basically every one we want with the gun and here the attachments are of course fusion holo close combat this gives us the fastest ttk but only 36 rounds i used to be cg light grip and the tactical compensator since i think the gun profits a lot from high accuracy and also the gun really doesn't have any recoil even with the tactical compensator that increases our recoil bit and also the visual recoil really is not noticeable you also don't really need something for hip fire the fire on the pbx is good enough and if you flank you can always use the rep suppressor and of course the second best smg or the overall best smg for most people pp29 still the best gun if you want to get high kill games if you want to farm people you just have a very nice ttk 65 rounds per magazine reload speed is really fast you have no recoil and even though on the pp29 i think the visual recoil is a bit more bound than on the ppx i still think it's overall probably the best smg currently in the game and the same as always fusion holo we use the standard issue and then rip suppressor in the first slot but that's mainly because i play a lot of redacted where suppressor matters a bit more but if you don't play a lot of redacted and play every map basically you can also just use the tactic compensator now as for assault rifles i think the f the m5a3 is still a very good option just short barrel standard issue extended with fusion holo and i also run the bcg light grip but if you are on a map that has a bit more close quarters i would advise you to put the master key in the first slot if you don't like the m5a3 and you want a close range assault rifle i love running the am40 especially after the vhx got nerfed but i will talk about the vhx later yeah super controllable very little recoil even very little visual recoil and this gun just sh shreds people close up also here fusion holo standard issue extended or style issue drum then on this gun i run the mga laser side i think the recoil control and better hip fire you get for this gun are perfect since it's a gun you want to use in close range and then of course the tactical compensator you can also run the suppressor but i think it runs again this functions a bit better with the tactical now as a long range ar i saw some people recommend the ak-24 but i personally think the visual recoil in this gun is aids and i don't really like playing it in the current season so that as far as always it's the best long range ar in the game still also attachments here are basically the same but make sure to use the high power drum i see some people saying you should use the sand issue since it gives you more fire rate and a better ttk but since it's not a gun you will use close up but more of a medium long range gun the ttk doesn't matter as much as having like 40 rounds and a lot of consistency
latency so use the high power drum then of course make sure your grenades are full and then use the tactical compensator since we don't have a grip we need a bit more accuracy and since the gun has no recoil recon control doesn't really matter and then lastly of course the GEW is also a good choice but I heard a lot of people say the visual recon this gun makes the gun basically unusable so you have to find it out for yourself and then of course we have the VHX as like close range AR but since here's the problem since the gun last season was super OP because it could two tap you in the head they actually nerfed the damage to this gun down to 24 so you need five bullets to kill but now with the new headshot multipliers I would actually love to see them revert this change and give the gun back its 26 or 25 bullet damage so it's a four shot to kill in close range without being able to two tap people in the head and then I would recommend this gun again but currently I don't really see reason to use the VHX since the M40 does the VHX's job but better. And then as for the new gun as you can see I played like one round with it. I haven't used it a ton but I don't think the AK5C will be meta but I hope I get more playtime with the gun or so I can make a gun guide on this gun on the weekend. As for LMGs here also nothing has basically changed. I think LMGs are not that effective from the visual recoil but mainly the problem with LMGs in this game is the sprint out time. You'll probably notice it but when you run with an LMG and you see somebody the time it takes for you to stop ADS and start shooting is so much longer than with every other gun. So I don't really recommend any LMGs. At least currently they just need to improve the sprint out time with those guns. But if you want to play an LMG basically everything is viable. Except for like the Battlefield 3 guns I don't think they hit that good. As for marksman rifles here the problem is they completely fucked the visual recoil on them so I cannot recommend any marksman rifle currently but if you still want to play a marksman rifle I would recommend the BSVM. The visual recoil is not that nice to you as a player but it's way more controllable than the rest of the marksman guns so here I would just say wait for patch 7.1 since with the last hotfix they did they didn't touch any visual recoil on the marksman rifle but they know it's an issue so it will probably get fixed in the future. As for sniper rifles the same thing applies I said in my last best guns video where if you want to do long range sniping all the sniper rifles are actually bad and the best sniper rifle is still the Rosh MK4. If you want to do range shooting with a sniper rifle if you want to do some aggressive sniping the XCA E bar is really good or the SVS 10. There I think it just comes down to personal preference between which one of those two you like. Of course if you want to piss people off just use the NTW50 for the one shot body shot and if you want to do some long range sniping with an actual sniper rifle because you don't like the second delay before the gun shoots with Torosh MK4 or with the DXR1. As for tacticals I think the same thing applies. MCS880 is still the best shotgun in the game but you have to remember they changed armor plates. Now an armor plates protects even more against shotgun shots so I'm pretty sure you can no longer one pump somebody with the MCS880 when they wear an armor plate. You just have to be mindful of that not that somebody was an armor plate you want you pump him and he isn't dead and you're like what the fuck is wrong with my gun so as always gvt 45 is just completely useless they buff the damage so it's now a consistent i think two shot to the body up to 60 meters and after that a consistent three shot but still i personally think the bullet velocity on this gun is just so bad if the bullet velocity was a bit faster then maybe i could recommend it but currently i don't really see reason and then of course 12m auto here they actually change the spread when firing with the short barrel where you have way more horizontal spread making it harder to kill people in range and you actually notice this i had a few gunfights where where somebody shot at me with a 12M fully automatic and I just didn't die because he was hitting so little bullet pellets that there was just not enough damage for him to kill me. So the gun is still super good especially close range but you know really need to be mindful about on what distance you engage the enemy and where you basically say no I have to go a bit closer. But here also attachments that's basically what you still want to run. The buckshot shell drum magazine for the most ammo, MGL laser sight for better hip fire and the short barrel. And then for the rest crossbows, crossbow, rush as I said better sniper rifle and the uh, NVK just don't use the gun it's probably the worst shotgun by far. And yeah that's basically it that's all the guns if you want to have like a top five from me like those are the best guns definitely PBX, PP29 as far 
And yeah, those are basically my top three guns I would recommend you to use. If you want to get a lot of kills or if you want to perform consistently very well, those are the guns, but I would actually recommend this time PBX and PB29 since with the new headshot multiplier, headshots matter actually. And you can stretch out the ranges now since you just need to hit one or two headshots on range to still get a decently fast TTK. So I will probably stick to playing PBX and PB29 for the rest of the season. But yeah, that's basically everything for the top guns. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing for future Battlefield content. Thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you in the next one.